Welcome to Ceramics. My name is Josh Ebersol. I'm the ceramics teacher at Turlock High. And today we're going to make some owls. Uh, they're just little, uh, little kind of abstract uh, sculptures. They're, they're uh, not exactly realistic. Maybe stylized is the, the right word rather than uh, abstract. But they're real simple to make and real fun to do. And I think these are... Uh, they're really fun to make like almost like little families or or just little groups of these guys together they can be different sizes they can have different shapes you can mess with their eyes and their beaks and their uh, their expressions pretty easily uh, and I think they're a really fun thing uh, I think it would be a really cool thing to leave these around town to leave them on windowsills at businesses and stuff for people to find and uh, might just you know encourage somebody to find something like that and, and brighten their day a little bit and that's something that we need during these times so let's get started and I'll show you guys what to do what tools we're gonna use uh, most of these tools if you've got clay or anything like that around your house and you can use play-doh you don't have to use clay you can use modeling clay if you've got some of that around really anything uh, anything like that will work just fine for this uh, but I'm just going to use uh, a pencil and a sharpened popsicle stick. So I just take the end and run it across some sandpaper and sharpen it up. And, and uh, those are all the tools I'll really need, uh, as well as some water and a sponge. But to begin, we just take a, a bit of clay, and you can roll it around in your hands like this. And we want to get it kind of egg-shaped, uh, just something like that. It doesn't have to be anything perfectly round. Uh, or spherical, we just kind of want it almost a little bit irregular. Uh, I, I think of kind of like a flat stone or a river rock, something like that shape would work really well. Uh, and then I'll just tap the, the base like that so it's flat and can sit on its own. And the first thing I'm going to do after that is use my fingertips to press a couple of dents for the eyes. Okay, so now we've got two dents for the eyes. It's really important when we're working with clay that we don't draw on it. We always want to press in and, and model the clay. We want, we want shapes pressed in rather than lines drawn on. Okay, so that's the first thing is to press in where the eyes go. Then I like to make the beak, so I'll take my flat popsicle stick and I'll make a little triangle right there. And another one on the other side. And I'm just pressing the clay next to the beak down just a little bit. Okay. So that way, again, the, the nose or the beak is not drawn on. It's actually sticking up a little bit. Maybe you can see the shadows underneath as I move it. Uh, but that's the idea. Okay. Always, we always, always want to create depth in our projects. Alright, next I'll make the eyes and so I pressed in with my fingertips and I'll press in with another one just to further define it and then I'll take the tip of the pencil and press two little dots right there. So now I've got my eyes and I like to also create a bit of a, a ridge on top of the head. I like to press in in the middle somewhere along there and I think that kind of defines the eyes and almost makes it look like it's got eyebrows or something. It kind of makes it even more interesting. I'll smooth that off. Uh, I also like to give it some feathers and you can do this with like the tip of a pencil, uh, that works pretty well and you just press in and create these feather looking things. Just again, create some depth, create some texture. Uh, and then last of all, we need wings. And the wings are really pretty similar to the rest of it. Again, we are always 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 pressing in and creating textures and depth rather than drawing that's the biggest thing we always want to create depth uh, 
So I'll take the edge of my tool. I don't want to use the, the pencil or the, uh, the, the front of my uh, wood tool because that'll draw on it. I want to use the side of it and I want to press the clay in like that. And I just kind of roll it and I'll do the same on this side. This side's a bit more awkward because it's opposite my left hand which I'm using. But anyway, that's, that's kind of how we do it. We just press the clay in and, and roll it along like that. Uh, we don't want to draw. So uh, you guys hopefully could see that th this is uh, really from pretty simple movements. I'm not drawing anything. I'm not doing anything complicated. It's just pressing in uh, and using the tools uh, as, as best they can be used. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to draw this out. I'm just pressing in using the right edges and, and all that. So let's do another one. Uh, I'll make this one a bit bigger. So I start out making my kind of egg shape or chicken nugget shape, something like that. Uh, this one is going to be a little wider, I think, than, than the last. Maybe not. Anyway, I'll tap the, the base so it sits up on its own. <clears throat> I'm going to start by making my dents for the eyes. And you could make these deeper if you wanted. That'd make the eyes look more sunken uh, if you wanted to. Another tool that works really well for doing the eyes is the end of a pen, like a, or the uh, cap of a pen. It works really, really well. I don't have one with me, but it works really, really well to use that. It gives you kind of a double ring around the eye. Uh, but since I don't have that, I'll just use my pencil make a dent there. I could also use this to make some lines around the pupil just to make some radial lines around it that might make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just being careful to make them go straight out. Trying to be careful to do it anyway. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Next is the beak. I'm going to press, again, I'm pressing the clay that's next to the beak down so that the beak looks like it's sticking up. So press that clay down, and then I'll smooth out a little bit around it to get rid of some of those lines. Okay. Now I'll the ridge on the top of the head and again just this is kind of like the wings where I was saying you use the side of the tool rather than doing this which would give you a line if you use the side of the tool it models the clay better I'll do the feathers on the front. And you, I'm going to try these a little differently this time. And uh, Instead of starting from the bottom, I'm going to start from the top and see if that looks any different. Okay, so there's that. Kind of gives it a little bit of a different shadow. Uh, and then this time I think I'll do three lines for the feathers. Uh, I'll start kind of in the same place for the feathers on the wings anyway. And work my way around. Same thing here. I'll start up at the top. 
and work my way down from there. All right, so there you go. Like I said, I hope to, uh, to see some of these around town. I hope uh, you guys enjoy making them and start placing them on windowsills and outside stores and all that kind of stuff around town, maybe brighten someone's day a bit. Thanks.